some words, if you use in normal language, can have a meaning in mathematics too. We already saw that in the case of independent, for example. We have something similar for the word similar. The word similar is also used in mathematics. Two matrices can be similar. So this will probably mean that they are kind of the same. But how exactly? And what does this have to do with eigenvalues and eigenvectors? Well, that is what you will learn in this video. Two matrices A and B are similar if you have another matrix P, which is invertible, such as A equals P times P times P inverse. So you have given the matrix A and B, and if you want to see whether they are similar or not, you have to find the matrix P, which is invertible, such as A equals P times P times P inverse. Or usually it's easier to put the P to the other side and to check whether A times P equals P times P. So let's look at an example. Here we have our uh, matrix A, here we have our matrix B, and we wonder are they similar or not, and we come up with this P over here. Let's just try this P and see whether here we have indeed A times P equals P times P. We'll see later on how we find such a P, but for now we just have it. Now then we compute A times P with the row column rule, C over 2, minus 1 over 2 equals 1, minus 1 half plus 3 over 2 also equals 1, 3 over 2 minus minus 1 half, so plus 1 half equals 2, and minus 1 half minus 3 over 2 equals minus 2. So that's A times P, we also compute P times B, which is easier, 1, 1, 2, and minus 2. And we see, well, A times P equals P times B. The determinant of P equals minus 2, so P is invertible. So it means that in this case, A and B are similar. So if you have a A, a B, and a P, you can check whether A and B are similar with a particular matrix P. In particular, you see, by the way, that A and B are not the same. So similar is not necessarily the same. Let's look at some properties. A and B are not the same matrix necessarily, but we can show that the determinant of A equals the determinant of B. Because we know A equals P times B times P inverse, so that A equals that P, B, P inverse. Then we know that of matrix R times matrix Q equals that R times that Q. So you can take out the P over here, that of P, B, P inverse equals that P times that P B times P inverse, there. And then the step, those two determinants are just numbers, so you can interchange their order. A times B in matrices is not always B times A, but if you have numbers, 2 times 3 is always 3 times 2. So you can interchange the order over here, put the that P behind. Then you can use the same rule again for products of determinants that P times that Q or whatever equals that PQ. So you can take the P over here in. P inverse times P is an identity matrix and you are just left with P. So even though A and B are not necessarily the same matrix, if they are similar, the determinants are always the same. We also know something really nice about the eigenvalues of those matrices. A and B have the same eigenvalues if they are similar. So, well, why is that? So if P times V equals lambda times V, with uh, P a non-zero factor. So it means if lambda is an eigenvalue of B, then we will show that a lambda is also an eigenvalue of A, but with possibly a different eigenvector U. So how is that? Well, we know A times P equals P times B. Put the V behind, then we get A times P times V equals P times P times V. Well, we know B times V equals lambda times V. You can take the uh, so P times lambda times V. Lambda is just a number, so you can take it to the front. And then we have A times P times V equals lambda times P times V. And that proves it. Well, why? Well, the trick is to put the brackets over here. And then you see A times factor equals lambda times factor, which means that 
uh, lambda is also an eigenvalue of the matrix A. So now we know similar matrices have the same determinant, similar matrices have the same eigenvalue, so nice properties. One question to think about. We have here different A and B, and you saw A is similar to B. What do we think? Is A similar to A? Is the matrix similar to itself? And can you prove why this is the case? Well, just try to answer that and discuss it on the forum below.